Welcome back everybody, this is the Johnny Mare, and I am continuing with Resident Evil 2, the Claire B scenario. So last time we got to the laboratories underneath the sewers, and this is where Umbrella has been conducting all of their G-Virus experiments. Now we also activated the power in this area, which allows us to continue onward and get deeper and deeper into this lab, which also includes these stupid plant enemies. As you might expect, plants are weak to flame, which means I have my flame rounds equipped. And that's for a couple different reasons. Of course, they're weak to flame. And, uh, I'm not sure if I actually killed both of them. Well, we'll shoot a couple more in there just to be safe. But, uh, also the flame rounds will continue for a longer period of time before going to the ground. And, uh, there's another plant enemy right outside the door here. So I'll kill that real quick. So uh, unlike the explosive rounds, which drop to the ground pretty quickly, the flame rounds will continue on a straight path for usually about a third of the screen to half of the screen, sometimes three quarters of the screen. It all depends on kind of what the distance is. And that is a very disgusting looking plant. All right, so. We're continuing downward, and that's because we need to find a particular key that will allow us to access the power room. And you'll notice I'm switching over to my explosive rounds. No particular reason why. It's not because there are liquors in this area. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Thank you for walking into that. Uh. Hi there, buddy. Wow. You went down pretty quick. So in later games in the Resident Evil series, liquors actually won't activate if you go very slowly towards them because their senses aren't that great. Now that is the case sort of in this game as well. Um, if you walk towards them, they will not become aggressive as quickly. Now they will eventually become aggressive as you get close to them, but uh, they will kind of just stare at you and make the... Uh, breathing sound for a longer period of time. So I like to walk as slowly as possible towards them until I get close enough that the explosive rounds will hit them right in the face. Or at least part of their body. So we got three more green herbs there. Always appreciated. And of course we ran past the door, which is where you need to use the disc to continue onward as Leon and finish the game. We don't have to do that as Claire, we're going a different route. Now we do want to get a map, it's not necessary, but helpful I guess. And also do some inventory management, so I will be right back. Alright, so I cleared out some of that stuff I just picked up, and we will continue onward. Now with Leon there was some liquors in this area before, fortunately we don't have to deal with those as Claire. We do want to hang a right here to head into the computer room and dodge these stupid little, I don't know, slug-like... Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what those things are. Larvas, I guess? Basically, they're smaller versions of the giant moth creature that's in here. So I'm going to shoot a couple times to do some damage. And then I'm going to run in and make sure it's dead. <laughs> Which it's not. Now it is. Ah, oh, poor moth. Didn't stand a chance. And uh, you can't use this computer as long as these larvae are on top of it. And so we're gonna shoot them also with flame rounds. Now the reason I'm doing this, this is completely optional. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. This is to access a special room, which is actually called the Liquor Experiment Room. Joy. And uh, you wanna enter the username Guest. Now we did this with Leon too. And that's because you have to register your fingerprint, and you have to do it with two different people. So I did it with Leon, and now I'm also going to do it with Claire, and that'll actually allow us to access the room and see what's inside. Considering what we had to do to do it, it better be something good. We'll find out in a little while. 
All right, so the last thing we have to do in this area is continue to dodge these little larvae. And we need to head into the labs over here. After picking up this red herb, we're gonna use our weapon box key. That'll get us some uh, good stuff. And also we're gonna grab the key to the power room, which is ultimately where we wanna go. So the weapon box is the only one that is lit up. And that gets us some more explosive rounds. Now, explosive rounds are good because of course they work well against liquors, but they're also actually fairly decent against the final boss. I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna use those or acid rounds or heck even the machine gun. We'll see. We have more naked zombies in here. Most of them are placed in such a way that uh, <laughs> you can kill them if you want. But uh, you can usually get around them without too much trouble. And they will slowly shamble towards us while we grab the power room key. But now we have to do a significant amount of backtracking. We have to head all the way back to that room with the box that we use the elevator to maneuver. Nice butt shot there. Not exactly the butt we want to look at. And uh, now we can use the power key to get into a secondary room. And that will continue the storyline. But of course, as we head back, we'll have to take on some more enemies. It of course is not clear. So uh, don't get suspicious of the fact that I'm switching to explosive rounds. There's no reason why that's the case. Uh-huh. Okay, thankfully it did not drop down there. But we are going to be reunited with someone we haven't seen in quite a while. But of course first, I'm going to do some inventory management, because I have to do it. So be back in a sec. Alright, let's see what happens when we go around the corner here. Annette! Where's Sherry? She's never even heard of the G-Virus before. Which room? Tell me. Sherry! No! Annette! The samples inside the pendant Sherry's wearing. Well, shocking that it's in the pendant. Obviously, the pendant has been kind of the most weird thing on Sherry's character model, so it seems fairly obvious if she had the G-Virus, that's where it would be. Oh, man. <laughs> that's why I switched. Ow. But uh, Sherry's being stalked currently by uh, Mr. X, the tyrant. So uh, that's nice, we don't have to worry about him, I guess, as long as he's preoccupied with Sherry. But uh, we do want to save her. We don't want to let Mr. X tear apart a little girl. Do we? No, no we don't. We want to stop him. So we're going to head back up. There will be some more plant enemies for us to take on. I think, anyway. I think they respawn. So, uh, I'm gonna want to switch to my flame rounds. I think there's two of them, and only one of them we actually have to take out because it's in the way of getting to the door. The other one's gonna be around the corner, so we don't have to worry about it. So the one to our left, there's right. So we have to take out. And the other one, yeah, it's not in the way, so we don't have to worry about it. What we need to do is continue downward to the elevator, but uh, since I did use that fingerprint room with the moth, I will show you the room that you can now access. We need to run straight ahead here. We'll flip this switch to open the shutter. And thankfully there's nothing there. And uh, now we'll register our fingerprint and open this door to the liquor experiment room. I wonder what's inside.
We're about to find out. It's liquors! What a shock. Please die, liquors. Oh, man. Well, at least it ran around the corner again. Oh, man, there's three of them. Stay over there, buddy. And there we go. Ah. Three frickin' liquors. And of course, the room that they're in is completely trashed, as you might expect. And what do we get for having come in here and taken them on? Uh, we get a clip of machine gun ammo. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Now, if you didn't get the machine gun. So let's say you picked up the machine gun as Leon in the weapons storage room underneath the police station. Then uh, there will actually be a machine gun in here for you. But uh, since we do have the machine gun, we get the clip instead. So considering all that you have to do to get in here, kill the moth, enter your fingerprints across two of the playthroughs, and kill three liquors. And I don't really consider it that worth it, but, you know, I did want to show it off, so there you go. I might actually now use the machine gun on the final boss just so I use it and show it off. And now I have extra ammo, so why the heck not? It's not that effective against the final boss, but I might as well use everything. We need to hang a left up here and head back into the elevator. That'll take us back down to the room that we were in previously. Kind of the processing steam room. And then we can head to the power room and uh, we'll see what's going on. This time Claire's gonna go up as opposed to going down. Pretty quick elevator. You know, in my experience riding in elevators, they're pretty slow. But I guess Umbrella goes all out. They don't uh, cut any expenses when it comes to elevators and their speed and efficiency. Alright, back in here. We'll head down. Obviously, if you didn't do it before, this would be a good time to push the box. Because uh, you're not going to be able to get to the power room otherwise. But since we already did that, the box is in place. We'll use it to hop up. And then we'll use our power room key and head into the power room and see what's going on. A little spoiler. We're going to be reunited with uh, our stalker. So this might just be a boss battle. Let's see what happens as we come around the corner. Sherry! Help me, Claire! <laughs> the monster's after your pendant! Throw it to me! Now run, Sherry! And go get it! Sucker. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Well, that's nice. We don't actually have to take on a final boss. That's pretty awesome. And how stupid is he? Right into the molten metal all of the T-1000.
Of course it's not that easy. Sherry? Where are you? Sherry! Where is she? 